Are you an acclaimed cottony estimator, or ace as we like to call it? What if I told you that you can take a gamble on your career and guarantee that you would come out with an ace? Complete any of our estimating programs and you too can have an ace up your sleeve. Listen to this month's Ace Spotlight to hear Hi, about it. Hi, this is Lee Lipniskis with Cottony Consulting Group, and I'm joined today by Andy Centaro with Elmer Davis, Inc., based out of Rochester, New York. Andy, how are you doing today? Doing well. Thanks for your time today. Thank you for meeting with me today. I'm excited to have you here as one of our ACEs. For those of you that don't know, ACE stands for Acclaimed Cottony Estimator, and that's where we feature one estimator month who's been through our program and excelled. So today we're interviewing Andy. I'm specifically super excited to be here with Andy because he is our first estimator to successfully complete the program. So first, I want to say congratulations, and also I want to know more about you. So, Andy, tell me about yourself and how you got into the roofing industry. Absolutely. Well, I kind of had a very unconventional uh, path to entering the roofing industry. I started my career in Boston, Massachusetts at an investment management shop Hmm. and did that for a little over 10 years. Um, Met and married uh, the love of my life, whose father runs a roofing company. So um, <laughs> after a couple kids, after a couple kids, we moved to Rochester, New York, where I decided to join my father-in-law in the roofing industry. And it's you know it's been a blast so far. Um, you know, working with uh, great people uh, across the industry. Very uh, mm-hmm. uh, obviously blue collar. Um, salt of the earth people who are uh, very talented in their skill set on the roof. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. That's fantastic. I actually have a friend who had a similar story. He found his wife, married her, and then started working for her dad's roofing company out in Colorado. So I have a feeling that that's more common than we think. (laughs) So Andy, as far as your role with Elmer Davis, what is it that you exactly do for them? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I run kind of our marketing effort, whether it be, um, you know, website development, uh, sales opportunities, uh, do a lot of presentations, build, you know, some of our flyers and uh, PowerPoint presentations as we uh, go out into the field and market and present to uh, whether it be, you know, customers, roof consultants or manufacturers, just giving them a general overview on our different capabilities as well as internal in the office, um, kind of fill, you know, that uh, chief operating officer role where kind of oversee the uh, different kind of special projects, whether it be uh, implementing new technology or, you know, a, a new accounting system, as well as, you know, kind of help with taking, a, you know, that 30,000 foot level uh, view of the company and kind of helping us, uh, you know, obviously currently we're facing COVID these uncertain times or, you know, whether, it, you know, facing, you know, labor shortages or material shortages and how we address those um, different issues. So Andy, what you're telling me is that you're not an estimator. No, but as you know, um, you know, I, when I go out into the field, right, not an estimator per se, but, um, you know, estimating is the cornerstone of, you know, our business, probably, you know, mm-hmm. every single construction business out there. It's, you know, where you kind of live and die. Um, mm-hmm. And you got to know the ins and outs when you're, um, you know, bidding different projects or I'm going out and presenting and, you know, a prospective customer will, you know, approximately how much does this cost? Um and again, we do a lot of, you know, hard bidding up here on a uh, big, whether it be government or municipalities, mm-hmm. as well as private work. Um, and you got to understand the ins and outs because it's either going to be a very uh, successful company or, uh, you know, you go out of business pretty fast on, you know, an individual estimate. So right. for me, kind of, you know, taking the course, it was a great, and again, someone from coming outside of the industry is a great, you know, what I'll call really built me a strong foundation 
in, you know, terminology and understanding basic concepts. Um, that's really helped me in my day to day job. And just to give you a little background on, you know, this is a I'm trying to think or just crop. We've been around, we founded in 1936. So we've been around a long time. Wow. Um, a lot of our, our current estimators that have been here, um, have been with the company over 30 years and, mm -hmm. you know, quite honestly, they've grown and built this company, but it's four different ways of estimating. What we're trying to do is create a, you know, systematic, uh, repeatable process on the estimating. We have, yeah. you know, three guys right now who do it, do it three different ways. Um, you know, neither is the right way or the wrong way, but, um, uh, you know, trying to learn kind of and develop one, Elmer Davis way um, will help us onboard new employees. Absolutely. I found that too, when I was working for a contractor, you'd have, you know, six different estimators who all kind of got to the same conclusion and, and profit margin, but their estimates look completely different. So it's, it's that systematic approach to estimating, like you said, that will really help a company be even more profitable and and I think, you know, that's what we're trying to do. We, like I said, you know, I came from the estimating world and there's really no career path for estimators. You know, how can we help them get to know roofing better, especially if you're new, like you, uh, new or newer into the industry, you take this intermediate course. And then, you know, obviously we have courses after this, but it, uh, that, that systematic approach, I think, is really important, especially, you know, with you coming from the, the COO side as well. You're probably all about processes and procedures, right? Yeah, correct. And I think, you know, to effectively, um, you know, solve problems and hopefully, you know, one day, um, you know, run this company, I think you have to, whether, you know, it would be when I started here, I, I uh, asked uh, Jeff, our owner, to, you know, spend some time in the field and um, love to go on roofs and interact with our, uh, you know, foreman and, and big crews and service crews to just really learn from the ground up. I think that's, you know, depending on where you are, uh, you know, in any, any industry, any, uh, not just roofing, it's construction, you, you really got to understand from the ground up, um, yeah. you know, what's going on with the company, how, how it's operating, how the, how the job is, uh, how the job is done from the field side as well to be an effective leader. So. Yeah. That cross training is important. You're absolutely right. So what, tell me, you know, what are your overall thoughts on the program? You kind of told me a little bit about it. You know, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. Awesome program. Um, like I said, helped me build a strong foundation. To be honest with you, um, I had not really seen, I, this is a very unique program from my seat. I haven't seen anything that's even comparable to it in terms of, um, you know, again, getting you, you know, beginner to eat intermediate, but creating a strong foundation. Like I said, we're trying to create a systematic progress, you know, systematic estimating system on our side. Um, and, and to be honest with you, there's not, it's when I started here, Oh, you know, how, how do you really do estimating here? Everyone has got their own, um, uh, flavor for things. There's no, you know, per se manual of this is how you estimate a project, mm -hmm. you know, do this first, do this second. I think this, you know, help, really helped me visualize the entire process and um, just really, you know, again, from not being in the, in the seat and not per se estimating uh, every single day, it gave me that strong foundation and confidence to sit down with, you know, clients and customers and manufacturers and um, confidently talk about, you know, Elmer Davis and how we uh, effectively, you know, create budgets and estimates for our clients. Yeah, that's great. I'm so glad that you had such a good experience with it. it that really makes me happy. We, we've put a lot of heart into this program and the, the series continuing. And, and that's really what we want to do is we want to help people in the industry, you know, learn about estimating, learn about roofing. And so I appreciate your feedback. Do you have any advice that you could give 
uh, a possible new estimator or someone who's just starting in the roofing industry that you've learned in your time and you want to pass on? Yeah, absolutely. I would say, you know, this course is applicable to, you know, what I'll call all stages of, uh, you know, estimating education, um, whether it be you're, you know, just starting out, um, you know, want kind of a, a crash course and kind of what estimating is all about. I'd, I'd recommend it uh, to anyone in, in that realm, as well as if you've been in the industry a long time too. Again, just kind of this, the program kind of got me um, what I'll call kind of back to basics, um, you know, kind of level set all the different terminology. As you know, you know, people in the industry have a million different names for a million different things, but it kind of, <laughs> you know, brought me that back to ground zero and helped me kind of, like I said, use that terminology foundation, kind of helped me build from the bottom up, you know, starting very uh, elementary to, you know, improving that knowledge base to just again creating a, a strong foundation and I'll go back to the to the point of you know it doesn't really matter where you are kind of in the in the hierarchy whether you're answering the phones or you know working the warehouse I think you have to have uh or running the company you have to have a strong base of knowledge on the estimating side I mean you know you, you depending on you know size and scope of work you do um one project can put you out of business pretty quickly. So to, to just have a uh, strong knowledge base and estimating is a must, I think, no matter where you kind of sit in the corporate hierarchy. Yeah. I mean, it's good to know the terminology of things, you know, even like you said, even if you're a, a receptionist and you're answering the phone, you got to have that, that base terminology to be able to answer some questions for people and direct them where to go. So I definitely, I agree with you on that. Well, Andy, I want to thank you again for letting me interview you. Congratulations on completing your estimating program and being selected as one of our first ACEs. For those of you who are interested in our estimating programs, go to shopcotney.com. That's S-H-O-P, cotney.com under the training section. We now have our intermediate, advanced, and director of estimating programs available and much more to come. Thank you for listening again. And this is Lee Lipniskis with Cotney Consulting Group alongside Andy Centaro with Elmer Davis, Inc.